Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a wiring adapter for the head unit of your trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the parts I'm going to be using in this project. This is what Minn Kota calls the front bearing, and this slides over the handle which is used to steer and select the speeds of your trolling motor. And you can see this little arrow here. This needs to be top dead center between the top and bottom halves of the control box to make sure it fits the way it's supposed to. And there's this little groove in there too, and that's where the bottom and top of the box is going to clamp down onto to hold it in place. Now there's these little tabs on the back of it, and you're not going to need those. So I'm just going to get in here with a razor blade and cut them off. A couple of them are already broke putting this together. Then you have this three-quarter inch PVC adapter, which on one end is, has a slide fit, and on the other end it's threaded for three-quarter inch PVC pipes. And this is a three-quarter inch gland nut that if you want to use this for bigger wiring diameters, you can just screw it in the end here like this, and then butt up this to that, and it works great. Now, if you want to use this smaller gland nut, because you don't have that big of wires, this is a three-quarter to one-half inch reducer that you can screw in the end here. And then the 13.5 gland nut will go into this, and again, you butt up this to this. So, taking this apart, what you're going to do is... Heat this up with a heat gun. You don't want to melt it, but you want to make it pliable and soft. And then you're going to slide it over this end here on the threaded side so it lines up about like this so you can use it for this project. Okay, I've installed the Minn Kota bearing on this PVC coupler and I did it on the threaded end here with the arrow pointing out and of course this is the slip end end and this is pretty hard plastic so it's going to take a little bit of heat to make it pliable and soft so if you don't have a heat gun or you're afraid you're going to melt it another option would be to just file down the edge of this PVC coupler to make it slide on and I used a rubber mallet to pound it into place so that I would get this flush end here. But you don't want to heat the PVC up because you run the risk of deforming these threads inside here and then your gland nuts won't be able to thread in. Okay, so you've got a couple of options here if you want to paint it or not. Now, this is my finished product and just the face here on the inside that's going to be facing outward. I just took a permanent marker and colored it in. I didn't want to spray paint it because I was afraid I might screw up the threading by putting too much paint in there. And then you can paint this if you want, but it's going to be inside the control box or the head and you're not going to see it anyways. So it's up to you. Here's a view of what the wiring adapter looks like when I placed it inside the lower portion of the control box. And if I put the cap on it, you can see it gives a nice clean look for you to run your wiring and cable coverings out through the front of the unit. This is the version of the project using the 3 quarter inch gland nut and the split cable tubing coming out of the front end. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.